an excellent example of how we can use design to reduce heat transfer practically for example to keep a liquid hot or even to keep a liquid cold is in a thermos flask sometimes called a vacuum flask and so you need to know the design features and why and how they stop uh, heat from being lost from the hot liquid or the cold liquid so let's have a look at these design features so first of all the plastic stopper plastic stopper that is going to reduce heat transfer let's just put the right thing on here so so the plastic stopper now plastic is going to is a bad conductor it's a poor conductor poor conductor so therefore we're going to reduce the amount of conduction or heat transfer lost by conduction so I'm going to just put a little arrow here reduce conduction also it is stopping any gas from rising out of the of the flask and so we're going to reduce heat transfer by convection by convection so those are two good reasons to have a stopper and also to stop the water from falling out and spilling out secondly so that was one secondly we have a double walled glass or plastic container and glass and plastic again are poor conductors so two glass plastic are poor conductors Con Conductors. So we're going to reduce heat loss by conduction again. Number three, the real reason for this double walled container is to have a vacuum between the walls. And a vacuum means that we don't have any air or any material in, in this gap. So this vacuum gap means that there is no conduction of heat across it. There is no convection because these two means of heat transfer need materials there is however radiation so radiation can still get across this gap but that's the last design feature here because the silvered surfaces the silvered surfaces reduce heat transfer silvered surfaces reduce heat transfer by radiation Remember that a, a light colored silver shiny surface is a poor emitter of radiation. Poor emitter. A good reflector. Good reflector. Keeps the heat radiation in. And so those are the four design um, factors or design features of a thermos flask. It's a good idea to learn those. Uh, it's a classic exam question.